Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm gonna actually try- I'm not giving up on that Jiggy just yet. We might be able to reach it if we split Banjo and Kazooie up. I think just Kazooie has the ability to grab that. Plus, there's another reason I want to get just Kazooie by herself. There's another Jiggy we can get with just her from the roof. Oh, and we can also demonstrate Leg Spring! Yeah, I think if we go into the Floor 5 with just Kazooie, we might actually just be able to Leg Spring up there. And even if we can't, I know another easy way we can do it. And that's by... Ouch. Okay, well, it wasn't that, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, we can just, like, sprint up there. And, again, you can just fire a clockwork egg up there as well. Oh, yeah, and this is why we got the shock jump disc here. So that we just Kazooie can soar all the way back up. Yeah, once you, learn, once you learn Leg Sprint, and especially once you learn an ability from the next world for Just Kazooie... Oh, man. Like, she can go anywhere. Last but certainly not least... If you'll remember going up here as Banjo and Kazooie, we were at the... We were at the top of Floor 1, but we couldn't actually do anything because it was too far away. Well, with Just Kazooie, we should be able to find a way to get across to the top. Yeah, so there's this platform all the way over there. We want to get to the center where that Jiggy is. Alright. Little daunting, but no problem. Oh, come on, really? Let's try this again. Okay, yeah, we should have just jumped. Intruder alert! Backup required to defend Grunty's treasure. So now we just have to defeat these tin tops. Before he defeat us. Ouch. Oh man, we can't use Wonder Wing and Vulnerability! Why does Kazooie have like no HP? It's ridiculous. Snipe him from a distance. There we go. Oh, Intruder has defeated the Tin Tops. Grunty's treasure has been lost. I wonder who's the one actually going uh, voicing his voice through that megaphone. Anyhow, that's our fourth Jiggy for the level. Thank you, Solo Kazooie. <laughs> oh my gosh! We dove really far and we actually landed in the Banjo's pack. That's hilarious. Alright. For our next trick, I think we will require Mumbo's assistance. There are two Mumbo pads on this course. And we still have to take advantage of both of them. However, we can't access we cannot use both of them as Mumbo in one go, and we're we're gonna see why. It has to do with what Mumbo's specialty on this level is. Welcome again, Baron Bird. We've got a Globo! Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Yes, please. Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Alright, hey Mumbo. Been a while. Alright, so there's a mumble pad on floor 2 in the electromagnet chamber, there's also a mumble pad on floor 4. This is the one we're going to try to take advantage of. So we're still getting blocked by those crushers over there. This is where Mumbo's gonna come to the rescue. Because at the top here, under this box, is a mumble pad, and we're about to see what's interesting about Mumbo's pad in this world. Hope this works. And the wall crushers. 
So we're gonna cause the wall crushers to malfunction. That's what Mumble can do. He can cause machines to malfunction on this course. Belt crusher malfunction. Initialize auto fixing program. Crusher will be reactivated in 45 seconds. Yeah, that's the problem with this course, is that Grunty actually is smart and has auto-fixing programs for the stuff we can have. So after we amp it with Mumbo, we have to very quickly go back, change back to Banjo and Kazooie, and then run past the Belt Crushers while they are still malfunctioned. So we can't play as Mumbo for a very long set of time, and we won't be able to access both of the Mumbo pads in a single go. We'll have to take multiple trips. Alright, thankfully, this is both right next to the warp pad, and thankfully the wall crushers are also right next to the warp pad. Now we can go back here and press the switches Banjo and Kazooie. The wall crusher has now been switched off. So now the wall crusher is permanently deactivated, which is nice. Now we can go down here, which leads to a new area. We can also go through this door, and that'll send us down a chute back to, I believe, the beginning of Floor 4. We don't really want to go there just yet. We want to explore this new area. This is where the majority of Floor 4 is, and I thought the washing machine could reach this area, but I guess not. And unfortunately, this is where Grunty Industries goes downhill. So first off, this is where the elevator shaft opens up, so we now have all the elevator shaft doors open. <clears throat> Claw Clamber Boots activate! As you can see, floor 4 is a pretty tall floor. Yes, this right here, the sewer access. This is the worst part of the world by far, but we're gonna get it over with. It's one of the few parts of this world I really hate. Floor 4, sewer entrance. It's a first-person shooter section. And, uh, if you thought the ordnance storage from Glitter Gulch Mine was tough, oh, you've seen nothing yet. This is absolutely awful. Attention! The clinkers have invaded the sewer system and are blocking the vents. Neutralize them all before the air becomes toxic. So, whereas in Glitter Gulch Mine we have a bunch of dynamite sticks we needed to destroy before the time limit is up, here we have a bunch of clinkers not to be destroyed before the time runs out. And this map is even more complicated than the ordnance storage. I am almost certainly going to fail. Floor 4, Clinker's Cavern. Not to be confused with Clinker's Cavern. So the clinkers are those little pieces of, um, poop on the wall, and they make farting noises when you get close to them. I'm gonna try to navigate this as best I can, but I'm almost certainly going to uh, lose to this one. Again, there's no... The fact that there's no map makes this really easy. There are also 20 clinkers and only 200 seconds. There's one. one up there, I think. Man. Yeah, this is absolutely the worst of the 3D shooter areas. You could say that this level stinks, because it absolutely does. Alright, we 
we've only, yeah, we're, we're more than halfway done with our time, and we've only destroyed half of them. This level is pretty much universally despised, even by those people who adore Banjo-Tooie like me. Oh, and it gets worse, because if you fail at this, um... In the Quarter Gold Mine Ordnance Storage, if you fail at it, it'll warp you back to the lobby. It doesn't warp you back to the lobby here. Instead, you have to find your own way back before you can restart. And if you fail to find your way back, then, um, you die. Ouch. Knock it off. just a huge amount of the map that we haven't even explored yet. And the enemies don't make this any easier. Apparently the beat bayonet is also not very good. Apparently we've already been back this way. I think this leads back to the start. Which I'm just gonna make a beeline for anyways. No it doesn't! Great! Attention! Sensors indicate the, the toxic levels in the sewer are now unacceptably high. Okay. Yeah, you gotta get out really fast, because apparently poop smells so bad that you will literally die if you're in its presence. Yeah, this this minigame is the worst in the game, without a doubt. And if... I, I get hating this, because, um, boy, how do I hate it, but, um, still doesn't make the entire world bad. Alright, let's try it. Let's try it again. Even- if we had any map of this area, it would be really nice. Okay. That was my bad. I missed that one on my first, uh, attempt. That was the number one I must have missed. Ow, okay, I hate this. I hate dealing with all the enemies. Out of my way, you little butt! Is that- oh wow, I literally made it back to the beginning, okay. Didn't even want to. Let's use fire eggs. Let's burn the poop. You actually do have to use your ears to listen for the sounds of them farting in order to know when you're near. Believe it or not, we are actually somehow ahead of where we were last time. Okay, I heard- I hear one- there we go. Hey, there we go. Okay, we have seven left. Is there one down this way? Is indeed. if we have to do this within the time limit, but the fact that there are also enemies that are trying to kill us on the way makes it a lot more annoying. Oh. 
What the heck? I... The beef bayonet does nothing. I only have so many eggs, you know. I even have the double eggs code. All right, third time's the charm. At least I'm getting an idea of where they are and how the map is laid out, but I still feel like there are a bunch of ones that I don't know where they are. And I'm just like, oh, I'll just handle them as I go, I guess. Cool, okay, we're actually making great time on this one. We're halfway done and we still have like an additional 30 seconds of half our time left. Five left, all right. Okay, that one is probably the toughest one to reach. Gotta remember that one. Golden staircase that leads up. There's just two left in 20 seconds. I think, also, when the toxic gas, like, when it gets too toxic and you have to get kicked out, if you kill all the rest of the clinkers, I'm not sure if you can still win or if you've effectively forfeited the round by that point. Okay, there's only one left. If I can track it down, we might be able to see. is that last one. Similar to the, like, the Warden storage. Even when you know the map, there's always that one who's somewhere. And you don't know where it is. Oh man, I hate this minigame. I think I've only beaten this once in my life. And I don't remember how I did it. And apparently every time you lose, the clinkers come back. But in greater numbers. Not really in greater numbers, but... I had to make that Star Wars reference. Alright. Okay, here we go. Golden Staircase. Very easy to miss this one. Okay. There we go. That one way leads to a lot of them. That's sweet. Actually, it leads to all of them in one room. There's a secret doorway over here. Does this lead anywhere? I know where one of them is, but I can't remember how to get there. Oh, here it is. I only still have one left, and I'm guessing it's the one that I've been missing all this time. Well, I at least found my way out this time. Where is that last stupid pile of poop? Sensors still indicate the clinker presence here that you haven't cleaned up. Herp -a -derp. Oh man, are you serious? The eggs don't respawn? Surely you must be joshing. They're not. There we go! Yes, I found the last one! Sensors indicate Clinker Friend has been neutralized. A cleanup bonus will be awarded. Oh my gosh, it was high up in this room that you would, in a place you would never ever look. The only reason I found it is because I heard it through the wall in the next room adjacent to it. Wow. Okay, so thankfully you can kill all the Clinkers. Thankfully you can kill all the Clinkers even after time has run out, just as long as you haven't died yet from the toxic, uh... <laughs> From the toxic gas. All right, let's see if I can actually find my way out relatively quickly now. I know this map fairly well at this point. Okay, that's not the right way. This way leads up to this top of this four for a blaze room. Okay, here we go. This way leads up. Wow, that's a confusing area. I knew it, it must have been hiding in one of the rooms. So I was just listening very carefully for the sounds of those, the poop. There we go! Another Jiggy for this world. Wow, I hope I never have to do that again. 